All right, well, speaking of Vegas, what if you're planning on heading to Sin City to cheer on the Hawks? Well, this close to game time, it's not exactly cheap to do that, and it's probably more expensive than you'd think, and that's why we bring in THB 11's Ian Russell in the studio with some numbers for us. Ian, uh, give us the good news. What's it going to cost us? Well, guys, uh, hate to break it to you, Craig, but it is not cheap. It's going to cost you a little bit to get out there. Keep in mind, though, Vegas, you know, it's almost 1,500 miles from Little Rock, so as those hours count down until the Hogs play UConn, the price of getting out there, well, it's only going up. The Razorbacks may wear red, but you'll likely see red if you plan on watching them in Las Vegas. It's a really great destination that's usually pretty affordable. Usually, but not when the Sweet 16 is in town. And if you're still trying to make that trip to Las Vegas, don't expect any cheap flights. I priced some different flights today for people, and literally it was from 750 all the way to 1300. Amber Robinson owns Picture Perfect Adventures, a travel agency in central Arkansas. She says prices for flights are only going to go up and you're running out of time to catch one. Make the booking now rather than decide three hours later because that price could already have increased. Of course, you have to have a place to stay, but Robinson says that'll also be pricey. For two people, you're looking at anywhere from 4500 and up, and that's not even including a car rental. Driving from Little Rock to Las Vegas takes you about 21 hours, and that's if you don't stop for anything. No bathroom breaks, no food, no sleeping, just straight there to Nevada. And gas is gonna get you as well. It's a little bit cheaper here in Arkansas. In Nevada, though, that's where we'll come back and bite you. Here's Nick Chiberio with AAA. The current Arkansas statewide average is $3.03. The current Nevada average is $4.24. So uh, quite a bit of difference, more than a dollar difference. In total, Chiberio says gas will cost you about $230 round trip, cheaper than flying, but there's always the risk of something happening with your car. So if you can stomach the prices of getting out there, Robinson says go for it. But she has some advice if you make the trip. The advice is to book as soon as you know you want to go. Don't wait. And all that money, thousands of dollars just to get out there. That doesn't even include your ticket to the game. I checked a couple different apps for you and I found some seats for about 130 bucks. All the way up in the nosebleeds though, so not the best seats, of course. But, you know, you could avoid paying all of that money if you just watch it right here on THV 11. Obviously, Sweet 16 action tips up right here on THV tomorrow at 615.